So, what's the deal with knockoffs? Well, in many cases, they're poorly reproduced action figures that come in many different varieties. They're often seen ripping off Transformers with the likes of... Deformation Robot 5 Shy Robot 5 Mechanical Warrior Deformation Tycoon Collect them all the latest series these kinds of knockoffs are usually very cheap in quality slash pricing and are easy to find at your local dollar store or on various sites like eBay or AliExpress. Other kinds of knockoffs include third party unofficially licensed products which, if you ask me, aren't really knockoffs, they're more so illegally distributed products of their own, but since most refer to them as knockoffs, I'll let them slide for now. Then we get to the topic of today's video, which are high quality, pretty sturdy reproductions of two very expensive Transformers Studio Series Constructicon figures. I categorize these into the knockoff subsection of holy shit, these might as well be official because Long Haul and Overload here are both very well made for being faker than your father's dedication to his family. Both of these figures feel very nice. As stated, they're great quality knockoffs. The plastic quality feels very nice and chunky and for the most part I'm not too scared to get kinda rough with these two as they do not feel flimsy whatsoever. They're chunky and sturdy for sure. Overload is absolutely huge! Seriously, the truck mode cleans up very well and he even dwarfs the long haul. He does come with the transform mixing drum part for Mixmaster and the knockoff actually has extra paint that will tab on Overload's truck bed. Long haul is great, he looks very accurate but the hands are exposed on the truck bed, however that does not kill my enjoyment overall. So getting down into Overload's transformation, it is quite simple and quite enjoyable. So the first thing that I like to do is just take this section right here and just fold that up, easy peasy. Then take the cockpit assembly right here and just fold it up and fold it back on this double hinge just get it out of the way makes things a whole lot easier then take these wheels fold them back come around fold the knee spikes out split the legs then take these wheel assemblies and bring them up like so hinge the feet down bring back the heels and boom there you have the legs all done then just take the head which will dislodge the waist right there and when you're going back into the vehicle mode just make sure the head's down and you'll be able to get the waist back into that section and it will snap so just fold that up then stand them up so you can raise your goddamn camera like so then just split the arms Bring them all the way down on these big ass ratchet joints. Rotate them. Ugh. Okay. Becomes kind of a workout from this point on. Take this back assembly, and because this is the knockoff, there, there's a little bit of a tolerance issue here. Uh, this doesn't really care for snapping in, so I have to force it, and it kind of sucks. Uh, take the arms, fold them down and just get that one out like so and where do you rotate this i know you rotated some okay you rotate it right there and hinge that and boom oh wait okay i don't want that breaking i really don't and just second burst same as the first on the other arm and that piece really really enjoys falling off which is not most ideal thing in the world, but you know what? We can manage because it's a knockoff. Anyways, there you have Overload in his weird ass robot mode that I absolutely fucking adore because he's wide. He is such a wide boy. I'm just gonna untab that because it scares me. He is such a wide boy. He's such a weird boy. But you know what? He is a nice boy. Okay, no, he's probably not. But seriously. He looks fucking wonderful in this mode. 
and I absolutely love him because he's just so, so Michael Bay. Getting down into Long Haul's transformation next up. This is also pretty simple, but it's kind of scary because I have had a breakage on this figure, and that's this tire. You can see, it's just, it's just, let me get some light in there. Something, something, come on. Come on, I know we can. See that? Pin broke, and I had to glue it. So, yeah, that's kind of scary. So, I'm just gonna hinge that down. Snap that into place very carefully. Take the other wheel, do the same. Untab all of this, untab the arms, like so. Come on, it's kind of fiddly, but the plastic, for the most part, does feel pretty good. Untab this assembly right here, split the legs, rotate the lower legs, like so. Hinge out the die cast feet. Yes, they are die cast, and that is pretty cool. Stand them up so you can once again raise your gosh darn camera, and then just, eh, just uh, bring these pieces out like so. Okay, there's a lot of clearance issues up here. You're gonna wanna untab the wheels. This one's already untabbed. And just bring the arms out on all of these different hinges. And I'm not really going over it that well because it's kinda it's, it's just, it's kind of a lot, okay? It's, okay, hinge these pieces down, hold them in, boom, snap that back into the arm. Okay, take this, hinge it down, boom, boom, bada boom, okay. Rotate those wheels back, like so. Continue hinging the arms with all your fucking might. Hinge the back piece up, and there you have Long Haul in his robot mode. Wait, pull this up. Okay, there you have Long Haul in his robot mode, and he looks very, very cool in this mode. I do like him. I love just his proportions. He's very stocky. He looks great. The robot modes definitely look the part. Overload is over here looking like a horror game version of Mr. Krabs, and Long Haul is the epitome of chunkiness. Overload is my personal favorite of the two because he just looks terrifying. I'm glad that they gave him normal legs instead of the weird spider crab legs. That design is fucking amazing, but Jesus Christ, I cannot see how it would work in toy form. Instead, he's got two massive armature platforms designed purely for terror and destruction. Long Haul is super chonk, almost to his own detriment. He's limited in mobility, but I've still managed to get some good poses out of him. I mean, this fat bastard can do a high kick, so he's still very impressive. By the way, I won't be showcasing the combined forms because I'm saving those for the inevitable Devastator video. So, getting down into Overload's articulation, because of these absolutely massive, gigantic crab arms, he has a lot of posability, but he's kind of awkward, and because he's knockoff, the hips are kind of loose and everything, and like I've said, these things like to fall off, but he's very posable, so let's get down into it. Starting off, he does have a ball joint at the head. He can look up all of the way. He can look down, if I can fucking get it. He can look down all of the way, and you can even make him look at his own pee, -pee if you want. I don't know. He can do a full three. 60 and there is a little bit of head wiggleage there. Yes, that's a word now Because of the transformation joints right here this part of the shoulder can ratchet upwards and These sections right here can rotate and ratchet down That's what I was pointing at, but I couldn't fucking get it to go these sections can also rotate and these arms are on mushroom pegs that really like to detach pretty easily, but those can swivel. He does have a double joint at the elbow right there for this arm, so he can bend all the way in, and the um, wrist, claw, thing, whatever, just mechanical part 
I, I, I don't know. Uh, it can hinge. This arm, no rotation up here for some reason, but those can hinge in. This can hinge in as well. Again, no, uh, no mushroom peg, no nothing, right, for rotation right there, until we get to base claw right here, and that is also on a double hinge, and it can swivel and pop off super fucking easily, which is very, very annoying. I'm just gonna not mess with that. Nothing at the waist. Hips can kick forward that far. They can't kick backward that far. They can't go out that far. He can not do the splits. He does have a thigh swivel. Bend at the knee, which is pretty limited due to all of the, uh, all of the parts and all of the kibble right there. He does have a very nice ankle pivot though, and the heel can hinge for transformation if you want to somehow make that useful. So, he can pose quite well. You just really have to know how to articulate a figure if you want to get this guy looking dynamic in any stretch of the imagination. But he is very cool, and he, and he is very poseable. So getting down into Long Haul's articulation, he is a lot less awkward than Overload, but he's also a lot more chalky, and he's a lot more limited than Overload. So getting down into it, he does have a ball joint and a hinge at the neck, so you can get him doing some of that oops, oops, oops action if you want. You can hinge forward that far, giving him uh, that much room to look down. He can look up. God, pretty much not at all, but the head can also do a full 360, but it's very limited due to the kibble, so I'm actually kind of worried about snapping that ball joint if I get it caught uh, within that area, but so I'm not going to fucking do that anymore. He does have swivels at the shoulders. They can go up that far, go in that far. does have a bicep swivel, which is kind of tight compared to the shoulder, so the shoulder always likes to swivel on mine instead. Single hinge at the elbow, just due to the complex nature of the design, and nothing at the wrist, but he does have a nice ratcheted waist swivel. Hips are also ratcheted and they're very limited, but they can kick forward that far, and they can kick backward that far. And the Fucking kibble on the back also likes to get in my way, and that hinges. That that is very loose. He can do the splits, kinda. Not really. He's like me. He fails, but he's a lot chunkier than I am. So he does have a thigh swivel. He does have a below the knee swivel, which I think is horrible. I don't know why he has that, but actually, yes, I do. It's because of the transformation. I'm an idiot. He does have a bend at the knee, can do about 90, and the ankles can pivot that far, and the toes, which are die cast, can hinge upward. So he's still got a lot of articulation, but he is quite limited due to his chonky design. It's very, oh, bumping into the camera, bro. It's very, uh, it's very awkward, but can make something work with him. Just for clarification before anybody points this out, uh, yeah, I do know that there are these pieces that you need to uh, fold down for the transformation as well. I simply forgot that they were here, and I mainly use them, uh, I'm pretty sure they uh, incorporate into Devastator somehow, so I'm pretty sure you do that for the transformation. So uh, yeah, if you see those down for uh, a lot of the shots in this video, uh, that was my mistake, and I really don't feel like, uh, retaking some of those shots. So, uh, same with these, uh, uh, grill sections from the legs. I have these down on a lot of the sh- uh, bye. I have these down on a lot of the sh on a lot of the shots, and they're just not, uh, I, I just don't really care enough to retake those clips. So, deal with it. I'll deal with it. Please don't yell at me in the comment section. I know. Overall, I love these two. For being knockoffs, they absolutely knock it out of the park with their quality. AoE Mech, the company that <clears throat> produced 
these two, definitely ranges in quality. I used to have a Nemesis Prime that they made, and oh god, it was horrible. But they seem to have improved. And while I don't personally recommend buying these over the official figures if you can help it, I will advise that you do what you feel is necessary if you're having trouble finding the real guys. Like me. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed today's video and would like to see more, please be sure to softly, slowly, sensually press that subscription button. And with all of that being said, this has been That Nerd Isaac 2006 and I'm rolling out. Peace.